Good morning, guys, and welcome to today. Today it is mine and Gabby's day to do chores. Hey, buddy. You guys look good. Wants to know what kind of headphones are you wearing? Dad's headphones. <laughs> Those are cordless. Oh, Harley. Harley? Um, um. Mar Dorm. Marley's. Marley's. They're cordless, so she can just yeah. They plug into my computer. You guys, pretty soon. Three hours will last three days. Three hours of a charge will last three days. Wow. Yeah. Hey, you back it up. The storm is such a gentleman, you guys, that you just have to tell him and he behaves. Like, he's just so good. I click. Are you coming, Ruby, or not? Yeah, he's such a good boy. Look, Gabby. See, this is what bothers him, you guys. I don't know if you can see it. On the top of his tail, right there. He gets junk on there. And by junk, I mean, yeah, disgusting. And it itches him, see? And that's exactly where he tries to scratch it. All of our horses get it. I assume all horses get it because it's a normal thing. And then it gets, see, he's like loving me, getting rid of it for him. And Stella loves when I get rid of it. And yes, I will wash my hands. And I have wet wipes that I use. But yeah, that's what helps him. Oh, just touching his tail, tail makes me happy. You make me happy, Stormy boy. This morning, I've been doing this new thing where I wake up in the morning and I sit on the front porch and drink my coffee and read my book or read my devotional or whatever I'm doing. And I did it this morning and a car pulled into our driveway at the back and parked in the hay and just sat there and sat there and sat there. So then I took a picture of them and then I sent the picture to Sam and he's like, oh, they're coming to turn the hay, relax, blah, blah, blah. They're probably waiting for somebody. And I'm like, all right. So then I went in to get dressed and then we came back out and they were gone. And then I'm like, paranoid. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? Why, why? Anyways. What color of car was it? It's a white car. I mean, I wasn't scared. But I just don't understand. But I, I have a good picture of the car. All right, I'm gonna watch these guys. So when we feed the grain, we have to stay out here and watch and make sure nobody eats anybody's grain. But you know what's crazy? This guy is so smart. So we turn this fence off when we feed and he knows when it's off and when it's on. When it's off, he'll put his head right over top of this. Like he, he's super hmm, smarter than he needs to be. Today's video is all about getting ready, Gabby ready for camp and hay. Hay is going to be coming up very soon in our videos. But anyway, we are, it takes a whole day to get ready to go to camp. We need to go shopping. Gabby needs a new bathing suit and I'll explain a little later. Hey, Della, I know that. I know that look. That's the, oh my goodness, let's get your fly mask. That's the look of I'm going to eat your grain. That is the look of back it up, sister. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it, you're already hot. Holy cow. I know, there's none left, but I'm gonna get you hay. No, can't do it. No. No. I know, it's like she thinks she's bigger than me, so she can just push me around, but you can't, you can't have their hay. No. <laughs> no matter how many times you look, there's not gonna be any there. So you guys remember how a lot of people asked us like to make videos about how to pick a horse, how to tell like when you're buying a horse that you're getting the right one. Well, here's one thing I know. How to tell if a horse is loved. See, this is what he does. As soon as we turn off the fence, he's like, woohoo, I can put my head over here. Um, if, when you go and look at a horse, if you check their butt and it's clean, you know it's a well-loved horse. So we 
weird thing about Finn is that he, when he likes something, he likes it. And when he doesn't like something, he doesn't like it. Like I have treats, but I just don't need them. No, but if I, when I hold up his fly mask, he just bends his head and puts it in. Like he likes not having flies on him. What, itchy neck. Whereas Stella, on the other hand, let me just show you here. Yeah, this is usually how it works. Stella has to happen. Has to happen, my love. Aww. Well, hello there, Mr. Lion. You'd be looking good up there. So, Hendrix is not in love with Ruby. Ruby is in love with Hendrix. So, poor Hendrix. Oops. So, poor Hendrix has to hide all the time. Huh, you have to go up here where it's nice and high. Yes, you do. Pretty, pretty boy. Yes. You love rubs, don't you? Yes, you do. I've never seen anything in my life like the relationship between Hendrix and Fiona. Like, literally, she just walks into the barn and he flies at her and jumps up on top of her. Like, it's insane. And she said it was like that the moment that she met him and it makes me like so curious about the fact that some relationships in life are just meant to be people have a divine connection i feel like have you ever met just met somebody in life where you've been like oh my gosh i love that person you've never ever know you've never even heard them speak it's happened to me before and yeah it's amazing so for anybody new tuning in this is how much our horse hay our horses get twice a day. So this is how much they consume in the daytime and then they consume this much again at night. So basically because we're home and we can split it up so that they're not going long periods without food, we feed them half of this in the morning and then half of this in the afternoon and then we give them another whole entire bale divided between them at night. Our bathing suit shopping and we found it already can you guys see Gabby's perfect bathing suit but do you want uh do you want a bikini this would look cute like this is bit like I like that style though so this is the one that I thought would be perfect for Gabby because it's the right color but definitely too old for her I think she should get something like cute but not too. I don't know if I like a 12 year old in a bikini. All right, All right so we're gonna try these on. We got a yellow one. We got some bikinis and we're not sure if we're gonna love them, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it as soon as somebody recognizes that we're standing here. All right, so we are getting bubble tea is my favorite thing. I can't handle too much caffeine, so I don't get it very often. I'm strawberry. I'm getting chocolate. But I love bubble tea, so I'm gonna get peach mango. bubble tea with with kiwi bubbles good strawberry with strawberry let me try yours because I've never had chocolate chocolate's good oh okay the chocolate is good the, the, the bubbles are not Yours is good. This is a lot of sugar. The orange is not good. Mango? I got mango. I like the chocolate, just not the kiwi. So, guess what happened to us? <laughs> Basically, I got a hole in my radiator. We are coming home from the mall, so we couldn't drive my van. So then, Sam phones CAA, and they come and they rescue us, but they didn't have room in their car for four people. So Sophie and I were gonna walk until Sam got the truck and came back to pick us up. So then we were like, it's 
like Sam's just gonna go home, drop out the car, cause he can fix it, come back and pick us up. So we are getting ready to walk, and then the guy's like, listen, it is way too hot, get in my car, and I'll have somebody come pick you up. Isn't that like a mini miracle? It's a miracle. Like, Woohoo! <laughs> Yesterday I said that where we live, the people were so different than what we were used to. It was like, a whole different environment for us and because I said that God wants to show me that people are the same everywhere that there are kind people every single place you go and so yeah like this is how God works you guys this is how you learn lessons this is how you see signs this is how you know God is working we are home we made a home we got a ride it was so wonderful yesterday i was talking about how in our area how the people are so different and then today god introduced us to two people who live in our area that are amazing literally so kind lesson learned don't judge but anyway so now we're home we have to feed our horses can you turn on the light uh, oh don't come in the weird part is though that when we were driving home it was Oh, did we scare you? It was torrential rain pour, and we're like, oh great, because we just did our, got our hay cut. But there's no rain here at all, and our horses drank all their water, so we need to fix that. Salty that we didn't unplug. <laughs> you just climbed through the fence, and it's plugged in. Are you okay? I'm, I'm putting my face in Kaylee that this does not taste good. I was clogging my hair. one thing, and they all... <laughs> yeah, my kids are not, are not leaders. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're copycats. The girls are copycats. All right, so we got Kaylee for the week. <laughs> so hopefully we can think of some videos to make. Um, we are shopping. What are we shopping for, Gabby? Oh my God, good idea. What? The last to eat, eat no, last to eat challenge where you roll a dice and you have to eat that person's food or they can take it out and eat it themselves. Or if you roll a six, you're eliminated. They're really big right now. <laughs> all right, we'll do it. Really? So we'll, we all had to pick a food. Do you want to do it on your channel? Sure. Okay. Do you want this for lunch? Like, do you sure. want to take a sandwich every day, I or a, like, a, do you want to take a bun every day? Every day. Can I try these? No. A bun every day. You want to take a bun every day, or you want to take this? Yeah. Okay. Bun. Okay. Oh my God. Found them. These are the real ones. You can use sisters them that straw straw love raisins. Too. Can you all right, all right. Is there a dollar? Yeah. So go back and get a, a few. Dollar something. Okay, go back. And, all right, all right. Really stepped on my foot. All right, put them, put them in the cart. Is this all good? Is this the you stepped on my daughter's foot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go. One thing my kids will eat are these. Okay, just wait. This is the test. If you like a different kind of apple than I like, we cannot be friends. Okay. Pick carefully. I mean, I'll eat any apple, but this is Texas. Pick carefully. Okay, wait, we're getting apples for you to eat. I know, but like, he'll eat the core. I okay. like any apple. Okay, so what kind is Texas' favorite? Okay, these are the ones I like the least. They're Max. And the reason I like them the least is because I these ate them so much growing up. This? I like those, yeah. These. I like these, too. I like every apple but those. <laughs> so we cannot be friends, just joking. <laughs> All right, so everybody's we're getting their... Five. Okay, everybody's getting their own apples. We are shopping for camp, you guys. It takes all day to get ready for camp. All day. You think, yes, I know that Brandon ate an entire bowl of gummies. I think these, that would be me. I don't know if he likes peach. Okay, then we'll put oh, it back. No, 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 let's get peach. Let's get oh, this off. is what he likes. Look how long these are. That's what he likes. Get two of these. Wait, let's see well, how much one they for cost. Him, one for me. Why is candy so, oh my god, $7.98. So listen, basically what's happening is that we are planning the best revenge video. It's not the best. We are planning the best revenge video and we need like something for a piece um, offering after in case it goes badly. Like if we do a revenge video, and then they hate us like we have to have something i like this because then i can just leave it in the barn and every time they break in they can just steal some and this is what fiona likes so camp is super expensive you guys so the million dollar question everybody wants to know kaylee did you tack up storm yes she did 
<laughs> Traitor! Wait, what? I was supposed to be under the whole day. I could so, just not. So basically, oh, you I just could. did what your trainer told you to do? Yeah, Gabby is the rebel. She would have said no I way. I just said no way. That's if it my was horse. text, what would you do? Yes. <laughs> See, I'm there texting you go. Kaylee, though. Brandon's about to ride your horse. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't allowed to. <laughs> We've been gone this whole entire day getting ready for camp and we're still not even ready because the girls have to pack the trailer. We're picking up Tex tomorrow. We have to go to Kaylee's barn, pack up all her stuff. Gabby needs to pack up her trunk so that we can pack the trailer. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys something crazy that happened. So we were shopping for camp. And so look at where Sophia found them. Horseshoes. You found that in the yard? Yeah. Be right beside the, the chicken's pen. Maybe, maybe the chickens were digging this up. I feel like this is a good luck thing. Like first we're killing birds and now we're pulling horseshoes out of our butts. Like we ran over a bird once. Yeah. Remember, Kaylee, when you pulled it, uh, who pulled it out? Sophie pulled it. I Sophie pulled is the lucky one. I pulled out the horseshoe. She's like, I feel like that's a horseshoe. And I'm like, it's a pony shoe. When you shop with girls, I don't know if you guys have ever been shopping with girls, but anyway, they just throw stuff in the cart and get stuff. So. All the girls got some fruit for camp and for next week, and this is what we ended up with. So we ended up with, so we ended up with five apples from Gabby. Another bag of five apples, exactly the same kind. And Sophie's bag has six apples in it. And no, I, I, I took five. So they all got five apples. So guess who's eating a lot of apples this week? Then. <laughs>